Hey, how y'all doing? This is Josh from Keep It Techie, and today I want to do a quick video on the CD command. Now, the CD command is a built in program in all Linux operating systems that allow users to navigate through files and folders in the terminal. Now, this program is normally used by systems administrators to navigate through to check logs, uh, execute programs and scripts, and as well as everyday tasks, because most systems administrators, they run their servers headless um, and just connect to them SSH. Um, but this is still an essential command for newbies, just so you know how to navigate around. In case you have a uh, computer failure, you can get into rescue mode and move around to different directories and fix whatever the problem is with your system. So let me go through and show you guys a few examples. Now I have a VM up and running, it's Linux Mint. Um, so I'll go through and show you guys a few examples. So let's zoom in so you guys can fully see what I'm trying to what I'm trying to show you. Uh, actually, let's go in one more. Good to go. So in order to change directories, um, like I said, all you have to do is type in the CD command. So you type in CD and the location where we're trying to go. Currently, we're in the home directory. And the way we can tell that is by the tilde that's listed right here. So you're in the home directory of Josh on uh, the Linux Mint, Linux Mint uh, system. Okay. So we want to move to a directory called user local. So we type CD for slash user and then local. And that'll take us to that, to that folder. So if we want to move to a folder underneath this, underneath that directory of local, then we can type in CD uh, user local and let's see in believe include. So that'll take you to the include folder, which is underneath the local folder. So that's just down another directory. So, um, and I also didn't have to do it that way. I just showed you that way so you can see how to write the full path out. Um, that's a way to get to uh, the directory as well. But I could have uh, just typed in include. I'm not going to show you that right now, but I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but you can also just type in a clue, include and it'll get into that directory as well. So let's clear this. So that's some basic, that's just some basic uh, stuff. And let's actually um, show you guys how to get back to your home directory. So the way to get back to your home directory, you can either type CD, which is what I have here and press enter. And that'll take you back to your home directory. Uh, let's get back into that folder again and show you the other way you can do it. Um, which is by typing in CD and the tilde sign. So that's two ways of doing it. And that'll take you back to your home directory. And as I said earlier, you know, you're in a home directory by the tilde and you know, obviously your name and the local system. So one thing, one thing else I want to show you guys is how to move up directories and meaning look at get into the parent parent directory of the folder that you're in. So if we go back to let's actually clear this so it don't confuse you. We can go back to CD user local. Um, and what was that in include? We can get back in there. Now, if we want to get back to the local folder, that folder right above include, then all we have to do is type in CD dot dot and press enter space dot dot. And that'll take you back one directory. And then so that's a that's a pretty easy way of uh, moving back up a directory. And then show you again. Let's do it again. CD dot dot. And that'll take us back to the user directory. So 
It's pretty easy, like I said. And also, I want to show you t uh, the tabbing. Uh, you can tab out directories. So if you um, somewhat know the directory name, uh, you can type in the beginning of it and hit tab. So like we know we want to get to the local folder. So if we type CD space L and tab, uh, sorry, it's two folders in there with an L at the beginning. So you have to be more specific. So if you know it's local, then you want to type L O and press tab and it'll finish it out for you. But if that folder didn't have anything else, like, let me show you include, I know there's a, not another folder in there with an I in it. So if I type I tab, it'll, it'll uh, finish it out. And then you just press enter and it'll take you there. Another way to get into uh, a directory that uh, you don't know the name of, we can um, let's go back one directory and let's type CD I in and then we can put store behind it and press enter. And that only works if there's only one directory starting with uh, I in it won't it won't automatically take you to that directory if it's two of them. So there's one more thing I wanted to show you guys that normally trips people up um, and that's spaces. Uh, a lot of times when uh, you CD and there's a folder with a space in it, uh, you have to type it uh, a certain way in order for Linux to read it. Um, Linux can't read spaces. It'll take that space as that's the end of the file and um, in the terminal and uh, it will try to find that file and disregard everything after the space. So you have to tell Linux that there's a break in the actual text um, and continue reading after the space. So uh, just to show you guys an example, I already created a folder under my documents folder. And actually I can type documents. Documents and then my stuff that's the actual name of the folder but like i said the space will throw off the command because it doesn't know to continue after that space so you have to put a backslash in there in order for it to recognize that there is a space and more text behind it for the name of the directory so if i type it in and just to show you uh, i'm gonna press enter on that it'll say it's no such file or directory um so uh, like I said, you have to put that backslash in there. That's the break for it. And it'll know to continue to read and it'll find that folder. And this is very important, especially when messing with Samba, Samba shares. Um, I noticed once before when I was messing with the configuration, uh, it couldn't find the directories because of the uh, spaces in there. So most of the time I create my folders using an underscore. If I wanted to, you know, space out something, uh, I'll put an underscore in between. For instance, for example, my stuff, I put my underscore stuff uh, just to make it one word. That way I could tab out in Linux as well as uh, in like configuration files. Certain configuration files won't know to, um, you know, continue past that or whatever. So, um, just recommend that as good practice. Just put uh, underscores in there in certain folders. That way it's easier for uh, Linux to find it. So that's all I got for you guys today. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, um, hit the thumbs up button, share, subscribe. And of course, you know, keep it techie.